For over 20 years, the Wiesenberg Yodeling Group met to sing together in the village chapel. One day, their simple mountain life was turned upside down. The Yodeling Group took part in the TV talent show The Greatest Swiss Hits and won. They had no idea what they were in for. Das ist der größte Schweizer Hit, nämlich das Feuer von der Sehnsucht, der Jodel von Wiesenberg, mit der Frosty Jodli. Two documentary directors decided to follow the Jodlers in their transition from the stalls to stardom. The documentary, called No Business Like Show Business, 20 Farmers Hit Fame, won the audience prize at the Solitan Film Festival in 2012. In the time when all of them want to be in talent shows... Today, so many people want to become pop stars and take part in talent shows. Ironically, the gods picked 20 yodlers and punished them with fame. We tried to show their struggle to stay authentic. Not easy to keep your head when you go from being a hard-working mountain farmer to being a TV star. The contrast couldn't be more jarring. After winning the talent show, they were swamped by concert requests. And there is an Anfrage. Anfrage. The Wiesenberger group tried to keep it together, but travelling all over the place after work was tiring, and it put their friendship through a hard test. An der Expo könnte mir die Schweiz vertreten. <lacht> <lacht> The youngest choir members don't want to go to China. They've got small kids and a farm to run all by themselves. Their conflict-solving culture was quite amazing. There were heated discussions, but then someone would crack a joke and everything was okay again. In the end, only some members of the yodeling group travelled to China. In Shanghai, the very conservative guys from central Switzerland showed surprising openness. In a public park, they even give a free yodeling lesson. The documentary tries to steer away from the usual Swiss clichés, focusing more on the small community's strong social bonds. It's also a film about friendship, on how 20 men with sometimes conflicting interests had to find a compromise. It might be similar to how our old Swiss democracy originated. The Wiesenberg Yodeling Club will keep on singing, but they've decided to limit their public appearances in the future. They've all agreed that keeping the whole group together is more important than fame.